Okay, so in this video, we're going to cover second degree AV block type one. Actually, there are two types of second degree, um, which is one is, uh, oops, I guess I need to change the mode. Type one and type two. In this video, we'll cover type one. And in the following video, we'll cover the type two. Um, the type one. AV block is also known uh, as another name. It's called the Winky Back. Winky Back. Uh, people some just simply say, the, "Hey, our patients having a Winky Back um, um, uh, block." It, that means it's a second degree AV block type one specifically. Let's take a look what happens in the second degree AV block type one. Uh, if you watch the first degree AV block, you probably could have find out by this time is if there is an AV block there is something wrong in the PR interval because the PR interval shows um, the, the impulses passes through the AV node and how fast this passes now so if there is a block there has to be something wrong with the PR interval let's take a look at into the second degree type 1 so what happens in second degree type 1 um, it's a little bit different than first degree. In first degree, the PR interval will be greater than 0.20 seconds, but it will be consistent with every beat. However, um, there's still something wrong in this AV node, but the block is a little bit more than first degree AV block. What happens is the, the degree of block with each beat increases. Um, till point there is no there, there, till point there will be no impulse will be passing through this AV node. So what happens is like right here. If we take a look, this is PR interval. It's uh, let's say one, two, three, four, and about four and a four and a half. So about point twenty two seconds. Now, if you take a look right here, this is P actually, and this is R. I'm oh, sorry, QRS, so P, P, Q, and this is longer than, uh, it's greater than point, sorry, greater than point 22 seconds. And approximately, let's count the box, how many boxes is? One, two, three, four, five five six what, what approximately seven maybe i'm wrong but, but approximately seven so point 28 seconds and this is even longer than that um let's count approximately let's one two three four five six seven eight and nine uh, which is about point 33 seconds and now you see a p there is no qrs for it so the PR interval, what happens is here, it increases, increases, increases till there's a drop. So PR interval will increase, 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 and, there, and eventually there won't be any QRS right there. Um, then the cycle starts again here. Um, the PR interval it starts again like at 0 0.22, 0 0.28, 0 0.26, and there is no QRS, QRS drops. And then the cycle will start again, 0 0.22, 0 0.28, 0 0.36, and there won't be any QRS, QRS drops. So this cycle will keep going on and on. Um, this number may be different, like maybe it's 0 0.24, someone will 0 0.28, 0 0.32, 0 0.36, and the QRS drops. Same 0 0.24, 28, 32, 36, and then QRS drops. Um, so in this type uh, A, also known as Winkyback, like the PR interval gradually increases till there is a drop in QRS. That's that's how you find out um, this type um, type one um, hard block. Let's take a look at into detail with our five card five criteria. This rhythm it is not regular. I mean, you can say um, regularly. Um, regular also you can say this one regular because P there this up to this point this is regular 
this QRS is coming at same interval, but there is a big gap right here, but then it starts regular again. And then there is a drop, then it starts again. So it is irregular in certain portion, then it becomes irregular. So it can be, you can say it is regular and also irregular as well. Then the heart rate, it depends on the underlying, uh, you can say variable depending on underlying rhythm then you will have PR interval there is no set PR interval and the PR interval increases 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 till there is a drop in QRS P to QRS now here's the thing here you have one P one QRS, one P, one QRS, one P, one QRS, one P. There is no QRS for this P. So it will be, uh, this is variable as well. Because you'll have one to one for certain beats till you drop one, to one QRS. So P to QRS is variable. It is usually one to one, but for certain, certain beats, there is no QRS. So you can't say it will be one to one for all the beats. So that's variable in QRS, it's gonna be, because there's no problem in conduction through the ventricles. It's right above the ventricle at AV node. So it's gonna be normal, 0 0.06 to 0.12 seconds. Um, and this is a really easy to find. You'll see like increases, increases, drop. Increases, 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 drop. Um, so like if it is after two beats, you can say two to one, three to one, like this is three to one right here to here is three to one. Um, this is two to one. Uh, so you can name it that way too. Um, I hope you understand this second degree AV block type one, also known as Vinkyback. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to 